Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make blueberry oatmeal in an instant pot. My friend sent me this recipe and she suggested that I do a video on it, so I decided that I wanted to do that. It's really easy to make, it doesn't take much time because it's made in an instant pot and it tastes really good. So let's get started. So in an instant pot, I have a tablespoon of coconut oil and you did not get to see me measure this because when I was measuring this, my phone fell into the instant pot and I had to take it off the stand and clean it. Sometime I'm going to post a compilation of all the blooper videos I've had while making these cooking videos. Anyway, so a tablespoon of coconut oil. Then I'm going to add one cup of steel cut oats. If I can find my one cup measuring cup. There it is. I'm just going to add one cup. Then I'm gonna push the saute button and let this cook for three minutes and I'm gonna stir the whole time. There it goes, it almost fell in the pot again. Okay, so this has been sauteing for three minutes. Now I'm gonna add one and a half cups of milk. Give it a stir. One and a half cups of water. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then two tablespoons of brown sugar or coconut sugar we didn't have any coconut sugar so i just used brown sugar i'm sure it'll work fine okay now i'm gonna give this a stir and then i'm gonna add the most important ingredient for blueberry oatmeal which is blueberries and these are freeze-dried blueberries i'm gonna add about three fourths of a cup which looks like about this whole bag that might be a cup i might have added too many oh well okay Ooh, it's turning the liquid blue or purple or whatever kind of pretty okay now i'm going to put the lid on close the steam and then put it on pressure cook for 10 minutes. There we go. So that is it. This is just gonna cook for 10 minutes and then I'll come back when it's done. In 10 minutes, the oatmeal's done cooking and now I'm gonna depressurize the Instant Pot. Almost done depressurizing. And you know it's completely depressurized when this silver thing drops, which is the pressure valve I believe. I don't know what it's called, but when it drops, you know it's safe to take the lid off. I usually wait till the sound from the vent stops just to be safe, but okay, now I'm going to take the lid off. And there's the oatmeal. You can't really see it because of all the steam. But it looks really good. Now I'm going to grab a spoon and stir it. It's kind of liquidy, but that's okay. It looks really good. Now it's time for the taste test. I'm probably going to burn my tongue doing this. Mmm, mmm. I really like that. That's really good. The only blueberry oatmeal I've ever had is this stuff from like the packets that you buy in the store. And this is so much better than that. I've never had oatmeal made with steel cut oats before. I like it better made with rolled oats. But I mean it tastes the same. Just the texture is what varies. I really like this. And I encourage you to give this a try. And a note. Like just a side note. It, the recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of dried blueberries. I think I added 
like a little bit too much. The flavor's not too overpowering, but I would add a little less if you make this. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.